Greetings my Jurassic Park lovers. Today we are going to be embarking on an adventure that sees us with a max powered Gigantinosaurus before round 100. Yes, we are going to be aiming for all pops with a single dinosaur within this entire game. But we're also going to be doing this with a help of some motion support, otherwise the dinosaur cannot see camouflage. It is literally its weakness. So we're going to be putting down our micro raptor in this square thing here. And then we will be commencing our adventures here. Now the beast handler is classified as a support tower. But to be honest, two of the three paths, namely the top and the middle path, are bloody overpowered when it comes to their abilities to pop things although i am struggling already because i forgot to set the beast handler to strong from the get-go i want to pop the green most balloons first if they ever appear on the screen that is and there we go we want to remain blue balloons thank you very much to be able to embark let's see can we keep our dinosaur friend within this little square or do we have to move it at any given point in time i am not too sure but we want to have the astasaurus at some point throughout this adventure otherwise i am going to weep and cry in a corner like a dinosaur when they saw the meteors i'm, I'm sorry that's, that's too soon of a joke for goodness sakes I did that joke with my Inferno Rings run, but I'm sure that some of you will be able to understand where I'm coming from, and I'm not trying to be harmful to anybody whatsoever. Just fiends that were once alive and now, unfortunately or fortunately, completely extinct from the living world. Also, I tried a little extra challenge here to where this dinosaur never ever leaves this little box. I oh, know, we are keeping this dinosaur caged within this little spot here, but I am pretty certain that this box is the best place to put this, well, uh, pathway of the beast handler in Bloom's Tower Defense 6 on any map. It has to be a means to always pop balloons at any given point in time. Lovely. I think having it on first will be best from now on. The reason why I had it on strong earlier is so that we can pop all the fast most balloons on the pitch at any given point in time. But with our newfound power, I don't think that is going to be an issue. Also, we're going to be turning off, turning off auto stuff because we want to put down another beast handler. We want to go to Microraptor, but we want to merge it with this one reason why we have auto start off is so that this little microraptor does not pop a single balloon because we want this one to do all of the pops also we're going to find out later on that the gigantosaurus kind of bypasses certain layers of balloons so therefore there will be less pops accumulated throughout this entire run and there's a fly on my monitor please go away there we go adosaurus is now at full power but now we want our submersion support friend which will once again require the auto start to be turned off otherwise we will be in a spot of bother because we want all pops with this one beast handler and its dinosaur and i have locked myself on the other paths because i want this to be a dinosaur only run so that means we only get pops from the dinosaurs but no fishes or birds allowed only the prehistoric behemoths that once ruled the entire world. Let's see. Submersion support with twin guns and the fly is still on my screen. For goodness sakes, would you go away? That's what happens when you try and record at night and it's still like 25 degrees centigrade. Insects somehow think that it's better to be indoors than outdoors. Rather well, be suffocated than be in the free world. Let's see. Ooh, it managed to get zebras down to that scale, which is very, very interesting. This can pop legs, which is beautiful. Because I don't think we would be able to... Actually, we, could, we might be able to do this with the top part as well. Get all pops with that. Although we would be restricted to just water, but... 
I mean, that's where sharks dwell in the waters. Round 30, more leads. Lovely days. You're going to go to the Velociraptor next. Obviously, because this one cannot, because it's a cysteine. Velociraptor is here. I mean, we're going to try and get two Mega Pops as well as all Pops, but I don't think that we're going to be able to get it considering the Gigantosaurus bypasses certain layers. So let's say, for example, when we pop the Bard, sorry, the Bad, sorry, the DTs will not spawn at all because those layers have already been automatically chomped down. I think anyways, let's see. First, you're still going to be first, but we want you to be at 2810 before we upgrade that. Yeah, a max level Gigantosaurus is going to be extremely tight for money, but I believe we can do it because of the fact that we're not putting down any other kind of support on the field aside from the submerged support so that we can actually decamify camos. I'm going with this theme that the only assistance that we have in certain challenges is the submerged support, but at some point we will be returning to normal content of two tower chimps and two mega pops. Although this could be considered two Mega Pops in its own right. Let's see. We're going to turn Auto Star off. We're going to be purchasing the Velociraptor. And then I'm going to be placing another one. Uh, we'll put another one over here, I think. And we're going to be merging to that. And we're putting back Auto Start. And let's recommence. I didn't know if it was fast forward or not. So that's why I pressed Spacebar twice. Uh, I kind of want to get this before round 40. Even we did a video where can he afford a Gigantosaurus on two... Sorry, on, on chimps mode. But I want to take a stage further. Can we get a max level Gigantosaurus? And I believe we can. It's just going to be very tight on money. And this was not max level at a given point in time. Now it has blue hair on its back. Someone's also suggested in the comment sections below that they were able to solo with the Gigantosaurus until round 171. Well, with the current build that I have and the restrictions I've laid myself with, I don't think we'll be able to actually match 171. In any way, given way, shape or form, I imagine that was with the help of Ultra Boost and Homeland Defense and all that jazz. Uh, Alchemist does not do jack because of the fact that you cannot alchemize with Beast Handler in any way, given way, shape, or form. It was actually a more recent thing that Overclock and Ultra Boost actually affects the Beast Handler with the top path and middle path. Rip Bird Lovers. Right, we can afford the Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the mightiest beasts in the ancient world. But we do have a slow fire rate, so those pink balloons might evade our jaws, our chomps. But honestly, once the first most balloon reaches around here, it literally meets up with the behind balloons anyway. So we don't have a huge amount to worry about. And if we do have a lot to worry about, then we can just simply stomp the ground. Lovely days. Another Moab, but this time you will go down even easier. Let's see, we're nearly there with an assistance of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Then we'd be placing this one down. And we're going to be placing our fourth beast handler down here somewhere down to the south. So we can only, hmm, so it's only beast handlers which are adjacent to the one that is primary in this case. The one which has all of the dinosaurs combined in this case. I love the Dinosaur Route. It is one of the most powerful towers in the entire game. Outside of Paragons and the Vengeful True Sun God. Round 53. Its stomp ability is incredibly powerful. It itself can just entirely remove ceramics. Round 63 is going to be a snack. Right, we can afford our second merge Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now we require a fourth Beast Handler onto the field. So we will be disabling Auto Start again so that we'll be able to place it down. I'm hoping this is within range. We're not going to plan on moving it, but it's just mechanics of it. I think, yeah, it's any Beast Handler that's adjacent to this Beast Handler, which we can migrate of a wonderful Tyrannosaurus Rex here. 
So, auto start, put back on. This is going to go up to Adasaurus, then Velociraptor, and then Tyrannosaurus. And then we will be ready. Our requirements will be here in order to upgrade this to the Gigantosaurus Rex. The mightiest and most purpley dinosaur in the entire universe. I love this dinosaur. It's purple, it's stomps. I absolutely adore it. I want one for myself in my own imaginary world. Not in the real world. I can't imagine the amount of meat it requires to eat in order to keep it from eating you as an individual. All right, BFB is on its way, and this thing just stands no chance. Look. Oh, the damage that we are giving it is absolutely sublime. Also, even redid it on Cracked, which is an advanced map, which I imagine is more difficult and requires a lot more micro rain indeed. But in this case, we are doing it absolutely stationary. And this dinosaur is absolutely consumed to this box without any given means of being able to escape. Unless, of course, I click this and move it elsewhere. But why would we move it elsewhere during this? is the most effective popping spot for any short range tower oh my god it just absolutely mold all of those ceramics into nothingness this dinosaur is honestly op but i'm not going to complain about that because well we can't like the opness of this and don't take that wording that i said there out of context right this is now at its full effectiveness and ready to be transformed into the Gigantosaurus Rex. I just need a little bit of money. 75,600 and we'll be there. Also, the Stomp ability now does not take that long to regenerate. Not that we actually used it before, but when it says max power, it regenerates very quickly. The more power that you have, the shorter the time it takes for the ability to come back. Also, when balloons are stunned this thing does extra damage against it so this would be good with like relentless glue or balloon crush or balloon impact or anything that can stun balloons in general freeze freezes them no it just uh where was it that it does extra damage to stun but oh here we go dealing more damage to stun balloons is with velociraptor stage which i imagine also transfers for the bigger dinosaurs as well I wouldn't think it's just exclusive to a less powerful dinosaur in the game. And if that's the case, Ninja Kiwi, what are you doing? Well, I don't think that is the case. Let's see. Stomp that. Yeah. But they go down more quickly when they're stunned, which is brilliant. I love the fact that when a balloon is in a certain state, it receives extra damage. It's sort of similar to Sorda, because she can do extra damage to stunned balloons or uh, frozen balloons or balloons which are otherwise affected in a way slowed knocked back stunned anything that slows it down or knocks it back or stops it from moving and look at this when they get round back to the top left it kind of meets up with those balloons and means that any advance has made us completely stomped out of existence zero pops with our submarine and it's going to remain that way if we had a prehistoric means of decamifying balloons without them taking damage, we would take that path. And no, that does not mean the bird path. We are only going with dinosaurs. Stuff with two legs and doesn't have wings. Okay? And that does not include dinosaurs, which are also birds which have wings. For goodness sakes. Round 75 is done and... <laughs> instantly chomps away at the, the regrowth ceramics <laughs> it's a light snack for ceramics it's ceramics or a light snack for this dinosaur this by the way is a support tower it just stomp them into oblivion it's just another way of dealing with them all even though this tyrannosaurus rex would have absolutely no issues in doing this and i think there's also been like two mega pop records with velociraptor or even like base beast handler with the atosaurus I'm, i don't remember off the top of my head but definitely velociraptor has been too mega popable goodness sakes 
the amount of dedication that people have into the craft of finding stuff out blows my mind there are so many other players out there that are far better at this game than i am and i never claim to be the best even though i am always trying my damn hardest to be the best that i can be it's a marathon and not a sprint I'm not trying to compete with others the only person at the end of the day that you should ever compete with is yourself from yesterday about 79 oh god they get instantly mild and i think that's where some of the pops are missing because this just bypasses so many layers come on yeah nibble at those yellow balloons goodness sake yellow balloons will always haunt me if you've watched my channel for a while you know that yellow balloons are a bit of a bane in my butt round 80 is here the zero mg is here and it's old-fashioned which is perfect for this jurassic a behemoth we're also over halfway to what yeah over no not even halfway towards the gigantosaurus rex oh uh, me and my mathematics are incorrect like on paper this is one of the most expensive towers to get probably even more expensive than super mines but this can actually retain its power because of the fact that we can increase its power with more of its kind but with like spiked mines it can't really increase its own power unless you give it buffs but by giving it buffs that means you have to spend that money in the first place in order to give it buffs stuff like overclock and the perma brew and the ultra boost and the homeland defense and the, the jungle drums and everything anything and everything you can think of you have to give it to it in order for actually even get to the point where you can afford super mines but then by that time it'll be way too late and you probably even pop the bad because you need assistance from something else in order to help you pop the bad and all these super ceramics have just been absolutely mauled i love this dinosaur we are now two thirds of the way towards the gigantosaurus rex which works out about 66.6 it's six 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 dot percent that dot meaning infinity there we go stun those just stole them by a little bit we are 17k away from the gigantosaurus life is good although when we do get it our attack rate will be a little bit slower but each of our chomps will be even more powerful so what's the catch here don't you think it's going to be a bit too expensive to try and reach max power well if you put down a bunch of tier 3 dinosaurs we will be able to get to that point like literally we will be able to get to that point don't pursue like a huge number of other tyrannosaurus rexes in order to get to that point it's too expensive use the smaller ones which will accumulate more power versus the cost Round 86 is here. A bunch of fortified BFBs. And this one tower is just so powerful. Round 86. Keep on going. Keep on going. Lovely. Round 87, which is absolutely delightful. And a big weight as this dinosaur cannot escape this small square, even though it probably has the perfect means to be able to jump across. But of course, it is very loyal to the beast handler itself and will never disobey it under any circumstances. Use a stomp again in order to keep under these keep your ceramics under control, sorry. Round 87, keep on going. We are nearly there with all this. This small square has so many successes when it comes to certain runs. Two tower chimps, two mega pots, and all that jazz. Because it's just so ideal to have lots of balloons all around you. Don't you think? This is one of the easiest maps in the game. And my personal favorite for being able to do stuff like all paragons at level 100 because there aren't really that many obstacles just as palm tree and these two umbrellas those are the only obstacles whereas on logs which is longer uh you have those logs in the way and it's less friendly for farms oh ooh, ooh, ooh. this could be a very challenging round come on pop the ceramics pop the, the oh that one nearly escaped there 
But luckily, we have all of this under control. Stomp those. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Don't let any of them escape. Don't let any of them escape fully, please. Let's see. Stomp at those. Lovely. And be able to target all of them independently. Lovely. Okay, so can we stomp it in time for the DDTs? Let's see. We are now being uncamo... So, decamofied, which is lovely. A slightly lighter shade of grey. And 91. Oh, gosh. These super ceramics are kind of gaining in power a little bit. Hopefully, once we get to the Gigantosaurus, it is able to instantly wipe all of these super fortified ceramics. Round 91 is done. By the way, we're still at a tier 4 tower. And it's able to solo these rounds. It's just, just, it just boggles the mind of how powerful this dinosaur is. Dinosaurs are truly powerful beasts. Are any of them able to escape there? Oh, we can afford it, actually. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do oh my god, you really are slow in, in fire right now. But your power is just absolutely sublime you're able to get those thank you do not lose power thank you very much and i'm going to turn your auto start off thank you ddt's to go down thank you much 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 this dinosaur is purple and i love it purple is my personal favorite color of all time so with this in hand we're going to be getting a bunch of tier three beast handlers and merging it with this because it will be cheaper to do it this way we'll be getting another one as well and merging it with that i know it's only plus one but plus one is better than nothing uh, okay now another round another set of disasters awaiting for us at the end of the finish line oh, but it's instantly removing the bfbs what on earth is this tier 5 tower made of there we go there we go okay we are there excellent and you know what these two beast handlers are going to be living it in luxury because they're going to be on these bench seats uh what has my life become round 95 you are oh purples are able to escape us no thank you oh stomp the entire field the only weakness this scene has is stuff of its own coloring do not escape the field please thank you oh and stop the entire field thank you very much and upgrade that and hopefully do not allow them oh you almost allowed them to escape there you almost had to be i was supposed to say put down but that's a bit mean so, we are 111, we are now at 116, yeah, I think we're good on this front, thank you very much. We have ourselves 16 more power to pursue and then we will be done with all this. Let's see, we're going to be putting one there, merging it with you, going to be putting one, I don't know near the pond of well, not the pond the swimming pool and putting you there and then yeah, that's it that's all the power we need and now you have turquoise spikes on you and glowing turquoise eyes with auto start on now we do not require that on anymore and this is at its max power about 97 oh, 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 oh. oh my god Gosh, you bypass layers like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Just instantly chops those fortified BFBs. You are such a powerful dinosaur. Lovely, I love it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of layers that have been removed because we're 146, sorry, 45k away from the two megapops mark. Uh, I think it has something to do with those fortified balloons. Maybe I should have held off from upgrading it sooner. Let's see. Stomp that. Uh, yeah, we're missing 45k. 44k away from the two megapops. But it bypasses layers. But this can still be considered two megapops. It's 2,042,000 something. But it just bypasses a lot of layers. Because it's such a powerful chomp down. 
I'm not going to be pursuing to see how far we can go. Otherwise, this will not be a max optimized route because we would be missing something like homeland defense and overclock and all that jargon and slowing down balloons as well. Hope you all enjoy this Gigantosaurus or Pops Dino only challenge. I suggest you try this out for yourselves and see how far you can get yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see me try and do exactly the same thing, but with the Megalodon. I don't think the bird would be possible, though. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, everybody. And do not forget to use my creator support code if you are ever shopping in the shop itself, which I... Oh, here we go. If you're ever shopping here, please use my creator support code. It would mean the world to me. Thank you all so much for watching. And I love you all to pieces.